But, and what I find offensive, look, the so-called Great Reset is not a conspiracy theory. It is a actual set of, propo of concrete proposals being advocated by some very influential people, and including, apparently, by Prime Minister Trudeau, who clearly alluded to it, referred to it, quoted from it, the Schwab theory, uh, in a speech he gave to the United Nations a couple of months ago. So it's not a conspiracy theory to talk about that. Those are the folks advocating it. And I think it's perfectly legitimate for democratically elected leaders for me to say, heck no, we're not going to exploit or take the uh, take advantage of a crisis to uh, advance a political agenda. If, if we're actually all in this together, like we keep saying, then how about we focus on the crisis, on protecting lives and livelihoods, helping people get through this, uh, and, and how about after that, instead of exploiting the crisis to impose on democratic societies, a whole bunch of social, failed socialist policy ideas. How about instead we get refocused on generating economic growth, on, on recreating some of the trillions of dollars of wealth that will have been destroyed, of restarting some of the hundreds of thousands of businesses that will have gone under, of obsessively focusing on getting the millions uh, 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 the tens of millions around the world back to work. Those who have suffered most in the COVID era have been the poorest a a around the world. And so the notion that we would then drive them further into energy poverty through uh, Klaus Schwab's policy uh, agenda is, I, I just fr frankly find it offensive. So no, it's not a conspiracy and nor is it a conspiracy theory. I think it's just uh, very um, distasteful and regrettable that influential people would explicitly seek to take advantage of a crisis like this to advance their own political vision and values.